वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल रेज ए कैट एंड टुडे इन द इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स टॉपिक वी विल सी व्हाट एंड ऑल एट द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड द पोटेंशियल वैल्यूज इन द इलेक्ट्रिकली पॉजिटिवली एंड आल्सो पॉजिटिवली एंड नेगेटिवली बोथ कंबाइंडली चार्ज रिंग ओके तो सपोज दैट देयर इज दिस चार्ज रिंग सो व्हाट टॉपिक इज इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स Okay, so suppose that because of this q upon k q upon x square. Okay, 
and this is the angle theta. What is this? And this uh, the, in the horizontal direction will be cos theta. So cos theta is equal to base upon hypotenuse. So x upon under root x square plus r square. Okay. So k, k q upon x square into x upon under root x square plus r square. Okay, so like this we will do. Okay, and then we will do the integration of this. Okay, so this x and x will be cancelled. So k q upon x upon under root x square plus r square. So whole integration will will give us the electric field in the horizontal direction. What is the electric field in the horizontal direction? So suppose that there is for finding the value, let's assume the value of this distance x is one and this radius is also one. Okay, so what will be and the value of Q is one coulomb. So all things are one, one, one. Okay, so K into one upon one into under root two. Okay, so K by root two. So the electric field in the horizontal direction or the net electric field will be K by root two. Okay, so this will be the value of the electric field. Let go because of this fully charged ring of of a Q charge. Okay, so this was the charge in the ring. Full charge was Q, so because of this, the electric field was, and the value of charge was we taken as one coulomb, so the value will be K by root two. Okay, so this is the electric field because of this char charge charge structure. So what is the value of this electric field? We found like this. Okay, so how we find the electric field is is the procedure, and this is the net electric field which is only in the horizontal direction, and in the in the vertical direction, the electric field what? Then said, okay. So let's see how we we'll find the potential at that this point P and also in the center. How the potential analysis is being done for this ring, okay? So potential analysis. positively charged ring okay so suppose that this is the fully positively charged ring this whole the positive sign is there okay and in the center we are going to find the potential okay so potential In this, the no the vector uh, uh, sum or addition is there only. Here we consider the sign. Okay, no, we, we don't see what is the vector vector of this potential. Okay, so we only consider the sign and the value of the potential. Okay, so plus minus sign and the and the value of the potential is seen only in the uh, uh, potential when we are finding the potential. Okay, so suppose that this is the whole positively charged thing and we have to Find the potential at the center. So the potential will be Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught r. Okay, this r is the radius of this ring. Okay, and in the distance x, what is the potential? Suppose that this is the distance x. Okay. So the what is the potential of this positively charged ring at this distance x? Okay. What is the potential? So potential will be nothing else but this is distance x. So this is distance under root of x square plus r square. So because of this charge, because of this small charge, this value will be q upon 4 pi epsilon naught under root x square plus r square. Okay, this is the value, and we will integrate it from zero to So the because of this is small uh, because of this is small Q charge it is this potential okay and this is at the distance this so we are uh, we are doing it for a complete ring okay so because of this small charge Q it is this potential so because of this is whole charge Q what will be there two pi r okay so zero to two pi r. Uh, Q upon 4 pi sin naught under root of x square plus r square. Okay, so because we are finding in the complete ring. Okay, 
so like this we will find the potential for this small ring okay so suppose that there is one ring which is half uh, potential and potential and electric field analysis okay for a ring which is half positively charged and half negatively charged so first half of this ring is negatively charged and rest half is positively charged okay what is the potential and electric field okay so suppose that they this is the positively charged ring so so the all the vectors which are there because of this ring will be in the this direction and because of this this will be in the this direction okay so because of this minus will be in the this direction and because of positive opposite so the all electric field direction all electric field will be not cancelled if the all the electric field vectors will be summed up okay so all electric field vectors will be summed up so electric field is not equal to zero okay in this case but what will happen to the potential for the left half which is positively charged the value will be q upon 4 pi 7r okay so and the for the rest half would be charge q minus q upon 4 pi 7r so this both will get cancelled and the value of potential b will be equal to zero okay okay so let's uh, uh, do the analysis when this is at a point p which is away from which is away at a distance of x from the center what is the value of electric field and the potential okay so suppose that this is at a distance of x okay this is at a distance of x from this and we have to tell what is the electric field at this point p okay so what is the electric field at this point p so because of this positively charged structure the value of the electric field will be like this okay and because, because of this uh, uh, negatively charged ring the electric field direction will be like this situation when we will go away from away at a point of p okay so this will be the situation that because of some charges it will be towards this and because of some it will be towards this direction okay so what will happen in this situation in this situation the all the components of the electric field will be cancelled okay so you can see clearly that the all the component this component will be cancelled by this component this component will be cancelled from this component so the electric field now in this the horizontal electric field will be equal to zero which was not zero when the uh, electric uh, this was fully positively charged the, the horizontal components were adding up and the vertical components got cancelled but in this direction but in this case all the electric field component which are in the which which are in the this direction uh, this direction of horizontal will be cancelled and become equal to zero and also in the vertical direction also all the components will will be equal to vertical also equal to zero okay so all the components in the horizontal and all the components in the vertical become equal to zero because the electric field structures is like this because of this negative it will be towards this and because of this positive it will be towards this so because of this the whole electric field will be equal to zero okay so what is the value of the potential in this case the value of potential because of this charge will be q upon 4 pi epsilon naught under root x square plus r square and because of this negative minus q upon uh, 4 pi epsilon naught under root x square plus r square. 
so this both got cancelled and become equal to zero so potential at the point p will be equal to zero so this is the analysis how the electric field and the potential values for a half positively charged and half negatively charged ring is done okay so suppose that there is one more situation in which the electric the ring is half positively charged and half negatively charged but the ring is upper one is like this positively charged this one is like here the positively charged and here down side is negatively charged okay so then how we will find the electric field and the potential values e and v values how we find in this case in the, the previous case we found that the electric field the electric field was for the this half charge was negative and this half charge was positive but here what is the situation the lower half is negative and the upper half is positive so how we will find the electric field and the potential value in this case so so this is upper half is positively charged with charge of q and lower half is negatively charged with charge of q so the potential value here at the point will be equal to zero as for the negative charge will be is one q upon 4 pi sin of r and for this capital will be k is small plus q upon 4 pi sin of r this will be minus this will be plus so potential value is equal to zero so b is equal to zero for this case but what will happen for the e e values vectors will be like this 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 okay and for this minus also the vectors will be like this okay so e will not be equal to zero in this case okay because all the e vectors will be added up and all the v vector all the v vectors will be all the uh, all the potential values will be equal to zero but the e vector will not be equal to zero but you can clearly see when the values like this will be there and the vectors of this will be there so the in the horizontal direction all the electric field vectors will be cancelled so electric field in the horizontal direction in this case is zero all the electric field will be there in the vertical direction that to in the negative y direction negative y direction so if it is asked electric field is in which direction it is in the negative y direction because you can see at the center the electric field vectors are like this so the all the vectors in this direction will be uh, if we do the component of this and if we do the component of this all will become equal to zero but all the vectors will be added in this direction so the electric field is not equal to zero for this case so okay so electric field is not equal to zero in the negative y direction but in the positive y direction in on in the both the x direction the electric field is equal to zero okay so let's see when the electric field and potential value is r r at a point p which is at a distance of x how we will tell the electric field and the potential values at a point p which is at a distance of x from the center okay so how we will tell the electric field and potential value of a ring which is upper half is a positively charged ring and the lower half is a negatively charged ring and what and all are the electric field and the potential values in this ring okay so we, we have to tell okay so suppose that this is the point p which is at a distance of x and the radius of this ring is r so what is the potential value and the electric field value in this case so in, the, in this case the potential value will be equal to zero as because of this small positive charge the value will be q upon 4 by 7 under root x square plus r square and because of this Minus q upon 4 pi x square plus r square. So v will be equal to zero in this case. And what will happen to the e? So what will happen to the e? So you can see because of this negative charge, the electric field will vectors will be like this. Okay, and because of this positive charge also, the electric field vector will be away from this and will be like this. So the all electric field vectors here also in the this direction all are zero, okay? And in this direction and in this direction, these both vectors will be cancelling each other. So in the horizontal direction, electric field is equal to zero, okay? And in the upper y direction, electric field is also equal to zero. Only the electric field will be in the downward direction, 
electric field will be not be equal to zero. Okay. So like this, we can tell what is the electric field for a ring which is half positively charged and half negatively charged. Okay. Thank you.